guys, good morning from my part of the world. I hope your guys' day, morning, evening is going all right. Today, we're just going to be touching on the planned BR changes for aircraft in uh, ground. Well, we'll mainly talk about aircraft. There's only pretty much one ground vehicle that we care about. Uh, but we're just going to be going over what has changed in my opinions of the change. And if these are good changes or bad changes uh, for the community. So let's go ahead and get started. I don't know how this video is really going to work, but I really think I need to share my opinions on this because War Thunder is making a step in the right direction, but they're not all the way there yet. Uh, there's some things that require time that in my opinion uh, would be better than this BR change initially, but this is a good start and nice that they're listening to, listening to the community. However, some of the changes that they have made are just going to do the same thing that was that was done to the things that were changed, if that makes sense. Hopefully it will. Let's go ahead and get started. So I have this list here, um, and th these are the aircraft uh, that have been changed. We're mainly only going to be focusing on realistic battles because I do not have enough experience in arcade anymore to talk about that. And definitely not sim. But if you look at the sim list, a lot of those things change. A lot of this sim stuff changed. But we're not going to talk about that today because mainly I'm a realistic battle player. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started with the P-51D5. So it used to be a 4.7 battle rating uh, plane. Now it is a 4.3, which is kind of crazy. However, that might, that nerf... Uh, might be the result of the 50 cal nerf that they didn't really talk about too much and with a 4.3 battle rating that thing's going to be able to face BF 109 F2s and at its old BR just from my experience I used to suck with the P51 horrid worst play in the game I used to say I think I have a video where I was like this is the worst play in the game but my, my stream was like, yo, Fly, just play it, man. Just relax, side climb, be disciplined. And after a while, this was before the 50 cal nerf. That plane was a good fit, in my opinion, to that BR. Spitfire, Mark 14. God, I, I hope that's it. Fucking Roman numerals. Uh, 5.3 to 5.0. Really don't play Spitfires enough to really make a call on that. But a lot of the community is saying that... Uh, the Spitfire was fine at 5.3. I believe that's a Griffin model as well. As we scroll down, Key 61, it's now um, at 5.0. It used to be at 4.7. Uh, but this is where I really just want to get in and talk about. Um, we're at the MiG-9 and MiG-9 Late 7.0. So as you can see, the MiG-9 and MiG-9 Late used to be 8.0. Now they're 7.0. They were literally unplayable. You still could get kills in them, but once an enemy top tier jet was on your tail, there was no getting out of that situation. How it would work is that you would bust your moves, try the, try your best to get that guy off your six, but the thing is is that the MiG-9 has no air brakes, so the air brakes that you would use would have been your 37 and 23 millimeters to slow you down. Um, if you did do that, the top tier jet would blow past you, you wouldn't accelerate properly, you would accelerate slow, and then the top tier jet would come and kill you easily. And that sucked. And you would think 7.0 would be, I'd be really, really happy. But I'm not. Selfish me? Yes. But looking at how other players play this game? No. 7.0 is not good for almost both um, well, the MiG-9 can get away with it. The MiG-9 late cannot. The MiG-9 late is much faster than the uh, MiG-9. Because at 7.0, what we're going to be versing now are ME-262As and Focke Wolf 190s, uh, D-13s. And whenever I used to play that matchup back in the day... It was a curb stomp. Now the Germans did win every now and then, but you know, if you had a competent four squad, three squad, two squad, and even the majority of the team, you know, individually, individual players could easily take on two and two or three of those guys at a time because the MiG-9 late has such a fantastic energy retention for that BR and acceleration. <laughs> 
I know I just talked about poor acceleration, but compared to the ME262, it's really good acceleration that you can just make those guys stall out all day. And you can, whenever a plane can initiate and disengage an engagement, um, that's when it becomes unfair because they're able to eat dinner or they're able to eat you the way they want to on their own plate. And you don't have any say in the engagement at all. So it's very unfair, in my opinion, for the MiG-9 late to go up against a 262 or a Focke Wolf 190D13. And I know that's how War Thunder works. You get a crappy game, you're the worst plane in the game, and then all of a sudden you get a good game where you're the top tier Mamma Jamma. And that's, that's how it's worked since day one with War Thunder. But I think that's not how it should work at all. I think in War Thunder, happy players, you know, if the player is happy, you know, they're going to be more enticed to promote the game, word of mouth, and, you know, happy customers are more likely to spend money. And that's in the best interest of War Thunder and the community because if more people spend money on this game, then this game will con uh, continue and keep growing. And that's just like when you enter a grocery store, that nice sounding cheery, cheerful music. I'm a happy customer. I'm gonna buy some more fucking Rice Krispie treats today. And that's how it needs to work. The, the player needs to feel like they're not getting, you know, shafted every game. Or not every game, the majority. You know, I'm tired of fucking MiG-9 lates killing me in my 262. So what I propose this is, just, this is just a short fix at the moment for that BR, is I believe that the Horton 229 should be moved up from 6.7 to 7.0, because the Horton 229 has a good, a, a really good acceleration, uh, a really good turn, and uh, what else they got? They got fantastic guns as well. So I think uh, the 262, the Horton 229, and the D13 for that kind of BR area. Now on for now on to the Americans. Uh, we have the F80. Let me just go to it real quick. The F80C being moved down um, to counter the MiG nines. Good move. Very good move. That's going to be good for the Americans because now the F80. Now the F80 is not as good as the uh, MiG nine late in terms of initial engagement, but the F-80 has air brakes, and once they air brake on a MiG-9 uh, late's tail, uh, the MiG-9 late pilot has to take drastic action fast, or that F-80 is just gonna, it's just gonna shred that guy apart. So I'm pretty excited for that matchup. Also to mention, the F-8Fs are there to support the F-80, so a good turning fighter, uh, a good prop hanger, and just fantastic guns. The F8F1's at 6.0 and the F8F1B is at uh, 6.3. 7.0, 6.0. They'll fight each other. Uh, next thing to talk about, the British attacker has moved down from 8.0 to 7.0. So on some maps, um, the attackers in F80s will be versing the MiG-9 late, I believe. So I'm pretty excited about this matchup. Really am. All right, so... Let's talk about the Meteor Mark III and the Vampire staying at 8.0. Personally, I see absolutely no reason at all to keep them at 8.0 because now you have a counter to them. You have a MiG-9 late. The Meteor Mark III and MiG-9 late is a good matchup. The Meteor has really good turn, really good guns, and the MiG-9 has really good speed, and if the uh, MiG-9 late pilot plays his part and the Meteor pilot plays his part. It's a fun matchup. Personally, I have no idea why they wouldn't want that matchup to take place. I think what they're scared of is that the Meteor and the Vampire are so fucking good at killing props. They're like super duper epic props with jet engines. Uh, they can turn better than props. They have air brakes. They can stay on a prop's tail. At the end of the day, it's very hard to balance history in a video game for gameplay because the whole point of a video game is to be fun and enjoyable. War was not fun and enjoyable for the masses, okay? So um, it's very hard to get factual information to be balanced on all nations. War has done a good job 
but I think they can do better. And how I think they can do better, just another proposal to an idea, is to stop looking at planes like a stat and look at them kind of like a counter. Or instead of looking at the statistics of planes and being like, okay, well, the only reason why the Meteor Mark III does good is because only the good players play it now because it's so shitty. You know, maybe that might be a fault in the stats. Look more at it like a, like an Overwatch. Well, not not the the game Overwatch. I haven't personally played it, but a lot of my friends are telling me about it. There's counters to everything. You know, everything has a counter to it, and I think War Thunder needs something like that. Like, not for the whole game, but if there is a specific area in the matchmaker that is, is having trouble, I think that War Thunder and the community needs to sit down and try to get that matchmaker good. So if one plane does something good, another plane can counter that. So the matchmaker is fun, fresh, and enjoyable for all parties. Now, as speaking my mind, I feel like what I'm saying is too good to be true. You know, that's how it would be in a perfect world. But, you know, if you don't get your ideas out there, nothing will ever take hold. Um, now, I'm going to share my last idea that I have for War Thunder and its BR problem, compression, and all that stuff. I think the biggest issue in the game, this might sound ridiculous, and you guys might not want to hear it. We don't have enough vehicles. There's over 500 in the game, but I, in my opinion, we don't have enough. Maybe only in specific locations, but we don't have enough. We need more mid-tier jets. <laughs> this is actually where I only mean it. We need more mid-tier jets to break the gap from super prop to shitty jet to okay jet to good jet and then to top tier jet. We need those like five or four steps to bridge the gap. Because, in my opinion, happy players spend more money. And, and you guys can argue, well, a happy player is not going to have to spend money because they're having such a good time. And maybe you're correct, but at the same time, more planes, this is my theory, more planes equals more grind. But more planes equals happy players. So there's a win-win situation in this um, proposal, I guess you would call it. The player is having a fantastic time because the matches are balanced and fun. War Thunder is having a ball because the grind to top tier has been extended. Now this can work two ways. One, the player is having a fantastic time and, want, and wants to get to uh, new vehicles faster so they buy premium and Tailsman. Or on the contrary, the game is so fucking fun that they don't buy it all because they're like, man, this is great. I think it will work number one way, not number two. But, you know, it. why not try it? Well, well, Fly Daily, because this is a multi-million dollar business and we can't do that. But that's just my opinion. Um, I think personally that would work. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I would like to hear your guys' feedback. And if you don't agree with me, that is fine. Please share your opinion in the comment section below. Uh, just to recap this video, we talked about the MiG-9 late versus the 262 and how I think that's not fair. And I think maybe a good counter uh, at that BR would raise the Horton to 7.0. That would make a more um, diverse um, meta for the Germans to counter the MiG-9 late because the MiG-9 late has the speed advantage but the Germans have the turn advantage. So it just depends on how it plays. It might not work out at all, you know, but let's just see if that, you know, might be uh, the last puzzle piece for that good BR area. Uh, then we talked about the Meteor Mark III and the Vampire is staying at 8.0. Hang on. Before that, we mentioned the F-80 and the Attacker at 7.0. Can't wait for that matchup. That is going to be so fun, like old days. Uh, then we talked about the Meteors and the Vampires in at 8.0. And the reason why I think they're still at 8.0 is because they're scared uh, that nothing will be able to counter it other than the MiG-9 late. And then we touched on how I think uh, the bridge from props to shitty, good, better, great, epic jets should work. You know, we just need more stuff 
in that spot to fill the gaps. But guys, please, in the comments below, leave your feedback. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. Have a great day and peace out.